Hi everyone, it's Muriel here at the Coop House. And today I wanted to share with you a project that I've been working on today, Saturday. I've been here in the craft room all day just trying to get, you know, some things done for Christmas. My daughter and I are going to babysit tonight, so I wanted to get in here, create a project, finish some cards, just so I felt like I'm doing something. But anyway, I made these altered coffee sleeves. I was watching a um, video today from Joy with Enjoy Stampin', and she made some altered coffee sleeves, and it made me think, that's right, I have these sleeves. You've seen them. You use them when you go to Starbucks or Tully's to keep your uh, hands from burning from the hot cup. And I had a nice... Um, collection of these so every time I'd go get um, a drink I would save these and um, I remembered I had them so I pulled them out and then I began creating so I made four um, I have some people in my um, job that I'm going to give these to so I want to show you what I've done anyway Joy did a, a tutorial uh, not a tutorial but she showed um, one that she made and she had gotten the idea from Joe with paper drama and that's where I had gotten my first view of these altered sleeves from Joe at um, Paper Drama. So thank you, Joe, and thank you, Joy, for uh, bringing it to my memory again. So here's two that I made from the same collection. Um, I use paper from Echo Park. I'll show you a piece of it because that's all I have left. And I have to tell you, ladies, I didn't go into my new stash of uh, Christmas papers from this year. I pulled out, I think you can see that focus echo part. I pulled out um, papers that I have done other projects on that I had, like, pieces left. And these don't take much to make. I mean, you're basically just going to open this up, and then you're going to trim the um, circumference of it. So you don't need a lot of paper. So here's the first one very very cute my daughter looked at this and she's like what is that a dog it's like oh my goodness it's a reindeer for heaven's sakes but anyway I lined the paper first and then I distressed the edges with um, vintage photo and this little um, border strip here you have to remember what where that's from because a couple of days ago there was a package that came to the mail uh, through our job it was some popcorn and this was all on the box and I freaked out because I was like oh I have to have that I need that I need that because it says yummy 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 all over so I knew I was going to be able to put it to use and I have just with this card this altered sleeve so I taped that all around just says yummy yummy and then I put a um, stamp, a postage stamp here from the Echo Park collection. There's a beautiful um, red poinsettia flower. And this little reindeer, let me tell you about him. I have um, been purchasing things from um, close to my heart for years. So I ordered one time, excuse how big the bag is, but it is these heartfelt um, felt die cut. So they come in four different colors, chocolate, olive, and twilight. And each sheet, and they come like this, so each sheet has a cutout. Now you see these are all circles because I've used this for other things, but um, the brown one had this particular reindeer, and it has other things like, I won't take them out the bag, but you can see there is like a... Um, mushroom here and a tree and just circles and corners and then there's even an owl so I pulled this out and found the little reindeer and just put some red um, bling on his eyes and a black nose and then I was thinking the whole time going he needs like a bell around his neck so I dug into my button stash and there was a button of a bell so I just put some um, gold twine around his neck. Isn't he just adorable? And then on the back I just put a um, candy cane sticker that I had. Now I had asked Joy, I emailed her back, sent her a personal message because my bags are so small that they don't um, stay secure inside the sleeve. 
and she thought that maybe I could like use a glue dot to keep it in there but I want to be able to have you know my my people that receive these to pull the um, cider packs out and look at them or whatever and then shove them back in and have them secured so um, if you ladies have any suggestions please send me a um, comment because right now what I have are these uh, paper clips and I just have the um, bag you know attached with this clip to the sleeve which is cute just as well but um, I don't know whether um, I don't I need a hot uh, chocolate pack because maybe that's probably a little wider than apple cider because that's what I have in here I have apple cider packs I am a uh, you know fond, very fond of apple cider so the, the packs are in these plastic bags that I picked up in my shopping ventures I can't tell you where but at the bottom of each bag the vendor has his stamp and I thought that was so tacky so what I did was I pulled out um, some journaling tags that I had from um, I believe they're from studio oh, basic gray they're right here they just had several different um, journaling tags so I pulled out one of those and I just stuck it to the bottom here and I'll put the person's name on it and then again I used some of this beautiful gold twine and this was um, in my stash I think this is from Stampin' Up! many many years ago so that's the first one there thought it was really cute especially the bell around his neck adorable and then the second one is from the same paper collection the Echo Park and this is a sticker from that same collection it says the most wonderful time of the year and then it has some various words relating to the holiday and there's a, um, a snowman button that I found in my stash I just took the shank part off and then just hot glued them down and then this beautiful candy cane with this lovely shabby wrinkled ribbon was from Prairie Bird Boutique that I just recently purchased Hi, Patsy. Look how I put that beautiful ribbon to use. And she had um, put this candy cane on the packaging when she um, when it arrived here. So I just felt perfect to use it. And then behind there is a green wreath, again, from my button stash with two red um, rhinestones, pearl blings there. And then on the back, just um, part of the sticker collection. And again, one of these um, clothes pins, these frosted, what are they called? They are called felt clothes pins. And they are by, I think this is Studio G, ladies. I think it is. But you've seen them at Michael's. And they also come in red. Okay, so that is the second one. Thought it was very cute as well. And then the other two, I am, I use the um, basic gray collection. Here's a piece of it. It's from the um, fruitcake collection. It goes back probably 2010, 2009. And um, I had some pieces of that paper here. So you can see this kind of green and whimsical in the back. And there's a um, basic gray journaling tag that says, Wishing you a very Merry Christmas with a bear from Recollection. You've gotten, um, excuse me, that's not Recollection, that is Can Company. When you purchase those packs of um, die cuts, so I had several kinds, so I just pulled that out of there. And there's that holly leaf with the flower. Believe it or not, that flower is orange, but it still works good. And then on the back, I put a sticker here that I had picked up, I believe, at Joann's. These here. These are the Studio 8s. So they were like in the dollar bin. So I just want to make sure that the back of that sleeve doesn't open. And then a red snowflake clothespin. So that one came out cute as well. And then the last one, again, there's some of that beautiful paper in the back. And I just put a nutcracker here with a Be Merry um, embellishment. And then I put a little bit of stickles on the... Um, berries just a little slightly and then some right there on his little jacket and then the label here so um, that'll put that'll be my um, co-worker's name and use the clip again and then on the back just put the um, 
Santa and I'll just go ahead and make sure I hot glue that down so it doesn't open up. So that's my four coffee, altered coffee sleeves. I thought they came out really cute. So um, if you ladies haven't already, pull them out. They are easy to do. You just need a small amount of paper, some embellishment, and your creativity. So thanks again, and I will talk with you ladies soon. Bye now.